Hi, this is Frog Valley Farm, and I just watched uh, John Kemp, AEA, Advancing Eco Agriculture podcast with interview with Harriet Mella, and she's a doctor and a super intelligent woman that from Germany that connects the dots between fringe science and phenomenology, which to grow plants. And this is the fields that really fascinate me and I just can't seem to get enough of it. But one of the takeaways I got from that was that plants can get 80% of their nutrition from the air. And that foliar feeding is a really good way to do that. Of course, using chemicals, chemical fertilizers, even just a little bit, spraying with glyphosate, you know, those all uh, disrupt the forces of nature that create the environment in the plant sociobiome that enables the plant to uptake the maximum amount of nutrients possible through the air. Spraying copper on the leaves, mm -hmm. not a good idea. Uh, so I did a lot of foliar spraying. That's, I, I got into biodynamics and within two weeks after doing uh, BD500, I noticed that uh, we had aggregation going on in our taller grass. This is on an unmowed grass system, right when I stopped cutting the lawn. And the, it just amazed me. So it sent me on this spiral of I don't know if it was insanity, but probably close of foliar spraying every day, five days a week of different things, concoctions I made, um, uh, like lab, like the, uh, you know, the milk whey and a little bit of molasses put in there and spraying that on the everything till I figured out what died from it and what didn't and realize that um, unless the plant's really diseased, just spraying it on the orchard floor was the best thing to do. And then I did this for a long time and I alternated between doing that and doing uh, compost tea and uh, 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 black soldier fly leachate, uh, bakashi leachate. And um, I found that the most uh, active one that got the most incredible results that I could see was the uh, Bakashi uh, leachate uh, with black soldier flies and um, it will ripen fruit like anonas instantly so if you have a bunch of green anonas don't spray anything like that I don't spray it anymore because we have a large colony of black soldier flies that reside here and they seem to do the right amount of work. So then I realized that I could mix all these things together, indigenous earth teas. So I would grab humus from our farm and um, mix it all together in a, in a bag, like a, a paint strainer's bag. I'd put a handful of compost. I'd put a handful of humus in there. I would put um, biodynamic compost I mentioned that I would put some of the lab in there and basically the leachate the black soldier fly leachate and I would just let it sit for a couple days and this is what it looks like where I'm at now with foliar and then I spray it you have to spray it and I did this for a long time on the soil because nothing was working and um, so I I eventually perfected a way to it's not so much the spray it's the atomization of the nutrients in the air so flinging it like this with a weed is how I do it now this is a 
completely aged dried cow manure tea and I soak it in a uh, horn manure. So this is 500. 500 never breaks down. And I discovered, because I like to, I recently found out I can start plants in uh, raw manure. And if it's aged a long time, a biodynamic manure, uh, tropical fruit trees seems to do quite well. So I put this, I made 500 horn manure and I put this in here because I wanted to see what what happened. Nothing happens. It has some fungi that come out of there in the water that don't have fruiting bodies, which I guess there's a name for those. I, uh, I can't think of it right now. But um, so I put the manure in, this is a rain barrel, and I put the manure, the raw cow manure, dried raw cow manure that looks like this. It's white. It's like, oh, that's not cow manure has cow manure on it, but like this. This is cow manure. Um, so just age, it's really light, and you, I put it in there. And when it's in there with the horn, the horn is in there, it changes something like uh, the energy, the electromagnetism, I imagine. And, um, so the, the, the cow manure disintegrates, which it never did before. So this is what it turns into. Uh, it's, you don't have to break it down. So anyway, so this is was a video on foliar sprays and the importance of them. And I just took it for granted. Another foliar spray that worked very well for me was organic yeast. Start some organic yeast and mix it all in with the with the teas, the other teas. And that seemed to activate something. And that was kind of the last foliar spray I did. Though I did do a raw manure spray after a freeze. I like to fling it onto the cover. there's like lots of dry dead matter because it seems to speed things up but yeah that's foliar foliar feeding it's it works um it doesn't work in unison with uh like copper sprays and uh fungicides and salt-based fertilizers and probably too much nitrogen. You can just throw the system out of balance. Anyway, this is Frog Valley Farm. I hope you found this useful. Thank you.